What's up everyone, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivated.ca. Welcome to day 14 now, day 14 of the Ramadan fat loss at home workouts. So today we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna do a few new exercises today. We're gonna do two more new exercises and I'm gonna teach you a new stretch as well. So it's gonna get a little bit fun today. So we're gonna continue from our last week. We're gonna start with four sets, sorry, three sets of 50 cross runs. So remember last week we did cross runs like this, we kept our feet across and then we we're switching our feet, we did 25. So today we're gonna do three sets of 50, okay? So we're gonna double it, so make it a little bit harder. So without further ado, if you're ready to go, are you ready? All right, let's go. And I'll show you from the side. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, forty one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Beautiful, guys. That was your first set. Let's take thirty seconds. We're gonna catch our breath, then we're gonna do the second set, and then the third set. So let's breathe. Well done guys, you guys are doing great. Ready, let's go to the other set now, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty. Keep breathing. Forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and fifty. Beautiful. Okay, second set is done. Let's continue to breathe. We got a thirty second break. Hope you guys are enjoying these workouts, guys. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below how you're finding them. If they're too tough, they're too easy, they're medium for you, let me know. That'd be really good feedback for me, okay? Ready? Let's do the last one. Just gonna fix the mat a little bit. We'll do these ones facing you, okay? Ready, go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Three, four, five, six, nine, forty, one, two. You got it. Three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Beautiful, guys. Three sets are done. Let's take a minute break. Let's recover. Breathe. Very nice. Just gonna check the mat, the mat is good. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be one arm rows again like we'd have been doing for every single week just to build your strength in your back. So today we're gonna do three sets of 15, okay, per arm. So it's gonna be a lot. So get the same weight that you got last week or get your oil kadaba, right? Your bottle of oil or your, or your bag of rice or bag of flour. So you get that ready and then we'll get going, okay? So keep, keep breathing. And if you have heavier weights at home, if you have a heavier dumbbell, you can do a heavier weight this week as well and do less reps. So maybe you can do three sets of 10 instead of us doing three sets of 15, but I'm gonna keep the same weight as last week and then do that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my weight. You go ahead and get your weight. We'll meet back in five, okay? All right, so you got our weights now. Let's get going. Hand on the hip, uh, on the thigh and Squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Squeeze for a second, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful guys, let's switch sides. And one, two, three, let it stretch. Four, pull back. Five, hips to your, uh, elbow to your hips. Seven, squeeze. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful guys, first set is done. Let's take a 30 second break. You guys are doing amazing. You guys are doing such a good job. Keep, keep going, keep breathing. Let's try to recover. Okay, let's get ready to go again, okay? Let's do the second set now. Get in position and we pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good. 13, pull, pull, 14, 15, beautiful. Let's switch. And one, good job guys. Pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, squeeze, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very nice guys, let's take a 30 second break. So you can also do these with resistance bands, right? If you have resistance bands at home and you don't have any weights, you can, you can these are really good with the resistance bands as well. What you would do is just put the resistance band under your foot and then pull the band and that tension will also cause you to work your muscle. So it's another good substitute. Uh, actually one of the viewers pointed that out to me so that was a great tip, thank you. Let's breathe. Okay, let's go, last one, ready? Third set, get into position and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, beautiful, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost there, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful guys, let's switch sides. Ready, and last time, come on, one, let's go. Pull, two, stretch, pull, three, stretch, pull, four, five, pull, six, pull, seven, very nice, eight, nine, 10, we got five more, you got it. One, let's go, come on. Pull, 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 two, three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five. Beautiful, guys, very nice. Let's take a minute break now, let's breathe. Put away your weight, and then we're gonna get into a new exercise now, okay, for your abs, and we call it Russian twist, okay? So you've probably done this exercise before in the past, but I almost guarantee you probably weren't doing it correctly, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it correctly today. So you can uh, target your obliques, okay? And the middle abdominal muscles as well. So I'm gonna put on my weight, we're gonna come back, take a minute break, and then we're gonna go, okay? All right, very nice. So now we have a few seconds left. I'm gonna take you through this exercise. What you wanna do is you wanna get onto the floor. Now, the way the Russian twist exercise works is, I'm actually gonna show you from the front here is you've probably seen people do it like this, where they go completely rotate. And that's not gonna do much for your abs, for your obliques, for the side of your abs. What you wanna do is actually raise your feet, actually keep your feet down, okay? So what you wanna do is just keep your chest up as tall as you can, 
Get your hands straight ahead of you and twist your hands, arms, back and forth like this, nice and slowly. Two, three, four, five. So when you get to this position, you want to pull from this side of your abs and bring them back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You should have felt it right here on the side of your abs if you did it correctly. So the idea is keep your chest up and go as far as you can without you starting to lose your chest dropping and then pull it back with your opposite abs, okay? Pull from here and pull it back. So let's take a 30 second break. I'm gonna show you from the side now. And then to make it a little bit harder, what you would do is you would also raise your feet off the floor and then do it, right? Actually, I'm just gonna show you from the front and there's no point in showing you from the side because you won't be able to see the angle correctly. So ready? So we're gonna keep it with the hands up now, chest up. From here, rotate. One. Two, you see how my body's, only my upper body's rotating? My lower back is not rotating. Four, five, six. This is very challenging, seven, if you do it correctly. Eight, nine, 10, 12. So that was beautiful. Let's take a 30 second break. We're gonna do it again, okay? So let me show you from a little bit more of a better angle here so you'll be able to see more of what I'm doing here. So we're gonna get going in about five seconds. Ready? And right here. So feet are up, chest is up. You don't have to keep your feet up if it was a little hard for you. From here, one, twist, two, three. Chest up and tall, four. Look at the, mirror, look at the roof, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So beautiful. Three sets are done. You don't want to be rotating it with this. That's going to put a lot of torque on your spine. That rotational torque is not that beneficial. So this is more effective. Okay. So next time you do the Russian twist, do it like this. Okay, guys. Hope you guys like that. Now we're going to take about a minute break. And then we're gonna do our favorite, you know, the one that burns a lot, the sideline leg raises for the side of your butt. This one's a little tough. Today we're gonna take it up a notch again. We're gonna do three sets of 25, okay? Last week we did three sets of 20, so it's gonna burn a lot. But you guys can do it, you're tough. Ready, breathe. We're almost done, guys. Two more exercises, we're done for the day. Then we're just gonna do a quick cool down with a stretch. And then you're off to open up your iftar. What are you guys having for iftar today? What did you have planned? Let me know in the, in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you're eating. Okay, so let's get into position now. So we're gonna start from this side first. Now lie down. You're gonna make sure your leg is straight from the back. Bring your back leg back. Keep this leg straight, right? Take the hips forward so the hips don't roll back. That's why your hand is here the whole time. And then you're gonna point your toe out and raise your foot. One, two, three. Now you should not be able to come all the way up. If you come all the way up, that means your hip is rotating back and you're able to get more range of motion, but that's not what I want. I just want you to go from here to here. Keep the focus right here on the side of your butt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ooh, 25 more guys, one, two, three, four, Five, very nice, okay. So, switch sides, beautiful, good job, good job. 
So let's switch over to the other side. Okay, again, same thing. This leg is straight. Bring the bend your back leg. Keep this leg straight. Toes pointed out. Hips forward. Put your hand on your hip so it doesn't move. Go up. Squeeze. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Keep going, guys. 17. I know it's burning now. 18. You can do it. Come on. A few more. 19, 20. We got five left. Come on. One. Push. Two. Squeeze. Three. Almost there. Four. One more, guys. And five. Beautiful. Let's take a 30 second break. That was very well done. So, this is a great exercise for you if you have low back issues, okay? If you're someone that sits a lot, you know, if you're a driver or you sit at the office all day, you're gonna start to have low back pain. That's because your side of your butt is not strong enough so that it, it doesn't uh, hold up your back's weight, your lower back starts doing too much of the weight work. So this is a great way to build some strength in your side of your butt so that it can do more of the work and your lower back can take a break. So you should do this on a regular basis. It's a great exercise you can do at home on a regular basis. Keep your lower back healthy, okay? And one, let's go. Second set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you got it guys, come on, 10 more, 16, push, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, five more, come on, push, 22, 23, 24, ooh, 25. Okay, very nice. It's a very small muscle, so it's actually pretty difficult to do. Um, it looks fairly easy, but if you're doing it correctly like I am with me, right now you'll really start to feel a burn in your side there. But that's great, okay. Ready? Let's go, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good job guys, come on, 14, push, 15, you got it, 16, keep pushing, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, we got five, four more, two, you got it, almost there, three, push, two more, one more, down, beautiful, okay, very nice, let's take a 30 second break, let's breathe, One more guys, let's go, last one. Getting in position, get the bottom leg back, this leg straight and we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good job, 11, keep going, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there guys, 18, 19, 20, 
Five more. You got it. Come on. One, two, push. Three, four. Get as high as you can. And five. Beautiful. Oh man, that burned quite a bit. I wanted to stop at like 16. But that's good. We're just pushing through, guys. Good job. Let's go. Switch at the side. It's burning me as much as it's burning you. Don't worry. We're going to do this together. Ready? Last one. Let's push through it. One. Two. Good. Three. Beautiful. Four. Make sure your hips are forward. They're not rolling back. Five. Squeeze at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just start to burn now, 15, good job, come on, 16, nine more, 17, 18, 19, 20, five more guys, stay with me, come on, one, two, you're almost there, come on, three, push through it, four, one more, squeeze, and five, very nice. Okay, that was three sets. I know that was a little tough. That was a little painful, but we got through it. You guys did amazing. So let's take a minute break now. We're gonna breathe. And then I'm gonna teach you another new exercise, which is one of my favorite exercises to actually fix your posture, um, your upper back, your shoulders. Uh, it's actually a pretty tough exercise for your upper back and your shoulders. It's called the handcuff exercise, okay? So it's a, it's a little different. You probably haven't done it before. So the idea is I'm gonna show you while I'm uh, standing and then I'm gonna show you on the floor as well. And it might get cut off a little bit because of the angle of the camera, but I think you'll get the idea once I show you at the front. So the idea is you want to be able to open up the shoulders and your upper back, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our hands on the floor like this. And we're gonna raise our hands as much as we can away from our bodies. And then we're gonna release them while keeping them up and we're gonna turn them out and we're gonna come up to the top and grab them at the top again and then raise them again. Let them go, keeping them at the same plane and then pull them back and grab them again at the bottom and then raise them again. So the idea is you don't wanna to touch your butt or rest your hands on the floor at all times. So we're gonna do three sets of four only, okay? So starting from here to the top, and back counts as one. So we're gonna do four, okay? So let's get ready. It's pretty tough, right? But I know you guys can do it. So I'm gonna show you at a bit of an angle. I'm just gonna turn my mat a little bit. So you guys can see this. So again, we're on the floor here, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from, your, your feet are off the floor, by the way. You're gonna grab your hands right above your butt, okay? Lock them in, and then you're gonna raise your hands up, and then slowly let it go, but keep your hands up as high as you can, your arms up. You're gonna go across, turn your hands, grab it at the top here, good. Now pick it up again, pick it up, and pull it back. Again, keep it up as high as you can. And grab them again. Yeah, there, that's one. Now we're gonna let it go again. Keep them up as high as you can. <clears throat> Grab them again. That's 1.5. Grab them again, pull them up. That's two. So this one you kind of do slowly. You don't, you can't really do it fast if you're doing it correctly. As you can see, I'm struggling quite a bit. <clears throat> and up. That's three. Last one. <clears throat> fight! 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 Grab it and relax. <laughs> Good job, guys. So. Uh, the idea with this stretch is that uh, you want to make sure you keep it uh, chin tucked in like this, okay? Keep it chin tucked in. And it also works your lower back as well because your lower back is on the whole time too. So it's great for your whole back to be honest and your shoulders as well. So that was your first set. I know that was really tough. 
but you guys got through it. Let's get through two more sets, okay? I'd rather you do more quality with this than quantity. So if you can only get through, say two with good form, then do two, you don't have to do four. If you can do three, do three, right? Four is a little bit a lot, but that's okay, you can do it. So let's breathe a little bit more. Okay, let's go again. Ready? Hands on the butt. Come up. Release slowly. Turn, turn, turn. Rotate. Grab at the top. Tuck your chin in. Get the hands higher again. Pull them up. Pull away. Turn, turn, turn. Come back. Grab them again. Interlock your hands. Pull them up again. That's one. Turn. Grab, up, good. Pull them away. Grab again. Beautiful, that's two. Up. Oh, this is burning so good. Squeeze, go up high again, keep it up. Fight, fight, fight. Go back. Grab it third time. Last time guys, let's come around. Slowly, your shoulders should be on fire. Grab it, go high, come around again. <coughs> Squeeze, ah, and put it down. Ah, good job, you did good. Uh, you must be feeling like me too. So that was good. Ah, your second set is done, let's take a 30 second break. So this one, we deserve this break, let's breathe. Your shoulders, your upper back should be on fire, even your lower back. The greatest exercise to do everything all together. So keep breathing. We're gonna take a little bit longer break today. Let's take another five seconds. Let's go. I got my wife on the back of this camera making funny faces. You guys, all the credit goes to my wife, by the way. So you guys keep her in your prayers. She's making all these videos for you guys. And timing, okay, ready? Now we're gonna go back and grab it again, squeeze, and pull it around. Grab, you should be able to do it better now. It should open up quite a bit now. That's one, come around, it should get a little bit more smoother now. Interlock, higher again, that's one. Pull around again, rotate, rotate your hands, rotate your arms, get in front, go up again, high, rotate, rotate. That's two, halfway guys, we're almost here, come on, we gotta get to four, this is the last set, you can do it, fight, 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 come to the front, grab it, go up, come back around, keep your hands up as high as you can. Grab it again, last time. You can do it, come on. Keep them up, keep them up. <clears throat> Grab, up again, last time. Fight, fight, fight. And, uh, good, okay. So, that was your three sets done. Now we're gonna fix the mat, let's take a little break. And we're done guys, done the exercises. But now we gotta do the the stretch, okay? So we're gonna do something called the pigeon stretch today, which is a great stretch for your, pretty much all of your lower body, but it's amazing for your hips, if you have tight hips, right? If you have tight hips, if you have tight butt, lower back as well, your groin, right? Your hamstring as well, so it's pretty much total body, lower body stretch. It's an amazing stretch, it's a little tough, but we'll get through it, so let's breathe. How did you guys find that handcuff exercise? Pretty tough, huh? Okay, so now let's get into the stretch. So what I want you to do is get onto the floor, okay? You're gonna bend this leg like this, okay? Diagonally like this. Keep your foot down, and then what you wanna do is 
the closer this leg is to your groin, the easier the stretch will become. As you get better and better at it, you want to move your leg almost parallel like this. So almost like, like this, depending on how much hip flexibility and knee flexibility you have. So we're going to start like this. And then what you want to do is keep your hands on the floor and take your back leg as far back as you can go. So the idea is every time I breathe out, I should be actually here. My, my hip, my, this side of my butt should actually be on the floor like this, right? But it has to be on the floor like that while I'm straight, not while I'm diagonally going down. So what I'm gonna do is, and then come up a little bit actually. And then now from here, you see how every time I breathe out, I get a little closer to the floor. So depending on how tight your hips are, you're not gonna get that low, right? Like for example, me, I'm pretty much up there in the air, but eventually you'll be able to get low enough so that your butt is touching the floor and then you're kind of just hanging out in here. And then what you wanna do next is you wanna reach out in front of you here. You wanna try and straighten your arms, get your head as close as possible to the floor. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna stretch out your, I'm gonna show you from this side now. I'm gonna switch my legs. So for example, we're gonna get here, get the foot at a diagonal angle. Now watch, every time I breathe out, I should be able to drop my hip lower. This is gonna stretch out the side of your hip, okay? All of the side of your hip here. It's also gonna stretch out your groin from the inside and it's gonna stretch out your lower back once we reach forward, okay? so. Let's keep breathing. Stretching is all about breathing, guys. You need to learn to breathe in your stomach and that'll relax your diaphragm and your pelvic floor, which is connected. And, hope, and help to open up your hips. So you can see I'm getting a lot closer to the floor now, right? But I'm still pretty tight, so I'm gonna stay here and then I'm gonna reach forward in front of me. So that should be good. You can do, you can hang out in there for about 15, 20 breaths, right? Really open up your hips, your adductors as well, the side of your, inside of your legs and your lower back. It's pretty much a total body, lower body stretch and it's a great stretch to open up your hips and your joints. So hope you guys enjoyed that stretch guys. Hope you guys love this workout. Please let me know in the comment section below how you're holding up this far. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time for day 15.